Wang Yuju grew up and fell in love with a man named Shu. They got married and had a baby girl. The baby's name was Jing, and she was a happy, big-faced little girl who liked to help her mom. Wang Yuju and Shu knew that they were only allowed to have one baby because of China's one-child rule. They didn't mean to have another baby, but it just happened one day. She knew she couldn't keep her second baby, which was me, and she didn't like the rule. When I was born, she tied a little string around my wrist that said October 1st, 1992, and gave me a special name. She called me Yu Chu, which means Jade Chrysanthemum. Have one child for a reason. I don't know the reason though. I think it's because、uh, there's too many people over there, and they want to get rid of some of the people, so they don't have. Because they don't. I don't think they have that much food, and they're sort of poor, so they just one child policy. I was born in Yangzhou City, and.、Um, My mom had to give me up because she had a child, and she only had allowed to have、um, one child allowed. In my life, I've had two mothers so far. My first mother gave me up because I think she already had a child, and now I have another mother taking care of me now. And then I, when I was three, I asked my mom where I came from, and she's like, "You came from an orphanage." Then I was like, "I thought she was lying to me." I remember my mom telling me I was adopted, but I never. I it's only around when I was six years old when I, um. And I rem、um, realized I was actually adopted. My mom said that she thinks she left me on a railway. If I could talk to them, I would ask them how it feels to be Chinese, or like a real Chinese person, and、um, if I had an, a brother or a sister, and what their name were. If I met my mom, I would ask her a question, and the question would be, "What would you want me to be when I grow up?" I'll get that. Hello, Sam Singleton speaking. Hold on a sec. Mom, somebody wants Zachary. Hi. Unlike you know our sons, our girls, our daughters. They've got layers to try and sort out. Wakey, wakey. They're already awake. Which one do you want?、Uh, They have us to sort、Peaches. out. They have the orphanage to sort out. They have their biological family of origin to sort out. Okay, thanks. Yes, Peaches. I think you've got to develop in them some awareness, some appreciation, and some pride in where they came from. Daddy, can you tell me my story about how you got me? Well, we drove up to the orphanage, and we went through up to, down through the gates and into the buildings. And then all of a sudden, some women came through the doorway, and they each had a baby in their arms. But、and、do the, you get to pick the babies? No, they were they, they already knew. <laughs> there was somebody there that says this little girl goes to that lady.、So、you know, I've told I've told her that story I don't know how many times. 
but she still wants to hear it. I think, number one, there's an interest in hearing it over again. I think there may be a little checky out that I'm not going to change the details <laughs> because to make sure it's the real true bill. But in some ways, there's, it's always there. All we could see is your tiny little face because you're just so cold, you're all bundled up. And Mummy looked at your face and she started to cry. And then Mummy said, okay, we got to check it's a girl. We got to check it's a girl because Mummy wanted to make sure that you were really a girl. What if I was a boy? Would you take me back and get a girl? No, I think we would have kept you, but we would have probably gone and back and say, hey, we still, need a, we still need a girl. But you were a girl and you were beautiful. Sammy, what do you think? Do you want to hear a little bit about your story? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had Emma and we had all the paperwork done and we decided we wanted daughter number two. At the orphanage, the nurses gave me a very warm bath and shaved my head. They left my bracelet on. I had my own crib until another baby arrived. She was a real big crybaby, and we used to touch toes and giggle. The nurse ladies thought I was beautiful and held me a lot. Sometimes when people write songs, they take words out and change words a little bit so it will fit better. It should have the Sabbath fe bien. That's, I'm gladly glad you noticed that. Great. But you can highlight their color. Having adopted kids, adopted girls, is, 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 is a unique issue in itself. Having them from another country, another culture, is, a whole, is a, an extra layer on it. It's easy to, for them to fit into, into Canadian society. They just go to the local school up there and boom, you know, they're in like a dirty shirt. The energy is to somehow have them understand their, their Chinese roots, mm -hmm. you know, the China that's in the bones. Who's Greg? Oh, Greg McDougal. Yeah, he's in my class, eh? Yeah, I know he's in my class too, Sammer. Yeah, I know. Probably we've gone a bit overboard in terms of trying to make them in some way comfortable with their Chinese heritage and make them aware of their Chinese heritage. So we have, you know, we have sought out ways to, to build that into their, into their, their childhood. <laughs> you can do all the things that we've done, but it's still, there's still a certain abstraction to what China is. <laughs> and that's one of the reasons why we're going to go back to China now. The trip to China is to somehow make it real and not just a storybook, not just a natural National Geographic picture or a big bird goes to China on a videotape. You know, this is, they're walking on that soil, they look around and say, yeah, so this is China. Okay, I was just saying that Lou is not going to be here for speeches and she wrote a really nice poem in her literature response. Would you read your poem to the class? Okay. It's a moving day. I'm going to be moving away, but I won't be moving today. I know you don't want me to stay, but I really have to go away. You know I will be missing you, and of course I will remember you. I will, I'll, I will have to say my name is Lou because in Alberta I will be new. <laughs> Oh, Lou, you know that makes me so sad, that poem? You're doing a really good job of staying happy. I know you're sad to go. Well, moving over into Alberta wasn't so hard. I thought it, I would have a hard time making friends, but it turned out that I didn't. 
what we'll do is we'll first start off with Lou. You'll do yours. Which is Sometimes on then I would um, like to have my Lisa. teacher explains it, and Brad, that I'm adopted, but no one actually right. asks so we'll me why I was. Only the, these two boys, and they said, why were you adopted? And I'm just like, well, I don't know why. Oh, I don't really know. So... I just told them the whole story. I told them that my real mom in China couldn't keep me, and I was in an orphanage for I don't know how how long. And my mom now came and saw the picture, and we we just became a family and that's how it went so that's what i said to the guys and they're still teasing me but this was as well as a bell tell me something happy before i go to sleep it's good to look on it Emma. what okay i think for lou if she look later on in life where she come from uh where are her roots it's very difficult because she's Chinese, but really she's Canadian. And she's Canadian, but she's French Canadian with the Chinese passport. Well, for two back, three cows. One, you must wait. Two more than me. Wait, wait, two more. Ever since Lou, like anything that happens in China has been a big interest for me. Like if I can do a project and that can involve China, I do it. E R S S B U L I O T B A J I O S H I R. Like I, th I find it amazing all, all the things that one country did, and then with Lou, it's even more of a reason to figure out like why she came about and how it happened. And then Xiaoyang, that's where you're from. What would your sister say if I said, "Are you Chinese?" What would she say? He would maybe say, um, I'm, I'm sort of partly Chinese because I have a um, sister that is Chinese. Lou needs to have a hug. She needs to know that people want her and need her and she needs to need people. So we are the two extremes. She's gotten me a lot more emotional, but I've made her less emotional. So we've, we're trying to balance each other out. Everyone says that I was finally able to let people touch me ever since Lou was around. I know as she gets older, Lou will learn more about uh, her past, about the Chinese, you know, the rules, uh, one child per family. And uh, she know that, I don't think she really know that she was abandoned. You know, it's a very strong word. She know that her mother gave her away. If I wrote Chinese, I'd like to write to my mom about how I feel about her and how I feel after being adopted and how, how nice my parents are right now. I tell her my goals in life. Like I really want to go to the... Um, to the Olympics and downhill skiing. That's one of my big goals in life. Up. Up, I'm a ski coach and Liz a ski racer. And last year, uh, it was Liz's first year of racing and she was on my team, so I was her coach. <laughs> so uh, what we're doing this year is we're having dry land training. It's, it's just to get the kids back into shape before the ski season. 